Shopify product page customization guide. Now in this video, we are right now going to actually build up a beautiful and converting landing page or basically product page for our product. Now, uh, if you're just going to stick with the default product page within Shopify, which is going to look something like this. And usually this tends to not convert well and you're going to lose out on a lot of sales. And rather we are going to use gem pages to actually build up beautiful landing pages and beautiful product pages for completely free, okay? You can actually get started with this for free. You are going to get one page for free and that's basically all we need once getting started. So to get started, just head over to the link down below, which will then redirect you to gem pages and then click on start for free right here. This is basically just going to redirect you to the gem pages landing page builder right here, which is then going to automatically install onto your dashboard. So just click on install right here. This is super straightforward. And this is how the gem pages dashboard is going to look like. So overall super self-explanatory. We are going to get started by creating a new page right here. Now, um, actually gem pages by default offers quite a lot of free templates for you. I think if you're going to go for a paid plan, you are going to get even more templates, which tend to actually be a little bit better than the free ones. But either way, I think the free ones work just as fine uh, when getting started. So you're going to get all sorts of different the templates, like for information pages, uh, click through landing pages, editorial pages. But as for us, we are actually going to select product page right here. And we are then going to have a lot of different kind of product page um, templates essentially. And we can actually preview these by clicking this icon right here. So as you can see, this one right here would be, I guess, kind of a little a little bit uh, too playful for us. So rather we are actually going to go for the fashion theme right here, which I think actually tends to be the best one for our use case. We are obviously uh, just going to tailor this um, for our own product and you can actually just edit this and you can put more elements onto this, which I'm all going to show you right now. So just click on select right here and then this is automatically going to install and this is now going to open up the gem pages editor. Now, basically this is super self-explanatory and you can just select each of these elements right here and you can then select the, uh, basically edit them on the left right here. So if you do want to actually change the layout of this, um, of this light box right here, we could do so by changing things up right here. By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together so make sure to check that out if you want to. Um, I usually tend to just stick with, I guess, the default one or this one right here. Um, I'm going to go with the default one because this is going to match the overall size of this thing right here on the right better. Uh, and then we can basically also go ahead and add new elements right here. But we're going to do this later on. Let's right now actually get started customizing this. So as you can see right here, we do have our title and our price. We also do have the compare ad price, which is kind of basically just pushing someone to actually buy because right now there's a discount and so on. And then we actually do have this icon right here, which I actually really like. So basically this says five left in stock, which just kind of, I guess, build up, uh, builds up scarcity on missing out because it could run out of stock. And then this person that is going to see this and um, can't actually buy this. And therefore this actually can significantly improve your conversion rate. And then you're also going to see a preview of a 1080 reviews. You would obviously have to update this to your own, own numbers for your own product. Now, one thing which I want to mention is that actually reviews are super important. I can't stress enough on how important these are. And I will actually also show you how to automatically import some reviews for your product onto this later on. But let's now actually continue with this. Right here, we do have a kind of a guarantee right here. We guarantee the product is the same as the sample image. We have a text block right here, which I would then obviously change to something like um, get your loved ones a gift they won't forget with or frame passion digital frame okay obviously i'm just making things up on the go right now you would have to take a little bit more time for this and you may basically have to find some basically do some copywriting for this essentially and then right here we do have some other review which you would then have to update i'm actually going to delete this invited thing right here because i think it doesn't really matter too much for this case so i'm just going to delete these things right here and then we can actually go forward. We can actually also customize this. We can change the color, change the text and so on. But basically 
this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. Um, right now, as you can see, this product's related to this uh, thing right here. Uh, although it looks beautiful, it is going to give you guys a discount and it is going to uh, have this kind of product stock counter right here. Um, we are actually going to delete this as we are going to build up a one product store. And this doesn't make sense because all of the products are basically the same, right? And then right here, you can see um, they've actually added a customer's review section onto this. And I'm actually going to show you how to automatically set this up right now. So basically what you will want to do, you want to actually find your product on AliExpress. So in this case, I would then just look for digital picture frame right here, as this would be my product. And then I would actually need to look at the, find the, the, the listing that has the most reviews and that has been the most sold. So in this case, this would be this one right here. And then we are going to save this open and we are actually going to head back to Shopify, save this and head out of gem pages for now. We're then going to look for Judge Me right here. And this is basically a free app, which is going to allow us to add these product reviews. So first of all, install the Judge Me product reviews app, app right here. Now for, only, for your own convenience, I will also leave you the links for this down below as there are a lot of links for this essential, but I don't want to waste your time. So I'm just going to quickly skip through this. Um, <coughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, and then we do have Judge Me installed. And then we will also have to install the Judge Me AliExpress review app right here. Um, so also just install this. Uh, and this is then going to allow us to automatically import our reviews onto Judge Me and then onto Gem Pages. So install this. And now we will have to continue by, first of all, I will just delete this right here because I've already tested this out beforehand. So I'm just going to refresh this quickly. Uh, so that we are on the same page guys and then click on import reviews from aliexpress right here so first of all you will have to actually put in the url from your aliexpress product so i will just copy and paste this onto uh, onto this right here well, where is the tab i don't know yeah right here okay uh, and then we will i will just paste this and then we will have to import this onto our shopify product so right here we will just have to look for our product so in my case i'm just going to put in digital right here and i'm then going to select this and we can then select on uh, basically select how many reviews we want to import i guess i'm just going to say i don't know 20 and only only reviews from i don't know let's just leave it at the default essentially and then we can also put in some content filters so we can either just select that reviews must have over one words or over 10 words for example or we can also select that these reviews should actually have pictures which i usually tend to do because usually for customers it kind of feels like more higher quality if the reviews are going to have pictures. So I'm then just going to click on import reviews right here. And then the importing is in progress. This is going to take one to two minutes. We are actually just going to go to the dashboard now and we are now going to head back to gem, page, gem pages. So just click on apps right here and then click on gem pages builder. And then we will have to actually find our page right here. Click on, click on it so that the editor is going to be opened up. And now we will actually have to get started adding our, um, adding our reviews onto this essentially. So to do this, we will have to go to the elements right here on the left and we will have to scroll right here to, where is it? The judge me app. So just put this in right here and then you will have to choose the widget type. Usually uh, I actually just select the review widget. You can kind of play around with this. Each of these are going to be slightly different and are going, are going to have another look. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly preview this so that you guys see how this is going to look like. As you can see, um, this would be the default kind of uh, review widget right here, which in my opinion actually does look lovely. You are going to have all of the different reviews with the pictures. People can also click on the pictures. They can actually scroll through this and so on. Obviously, you would have to double check these uh, because for example, this review right here only has one star. You would probably not want to show this. And also this review right here actually shows the AliExpress product page. So this review right here probably should be actually deleted. And then you can also change the page. So you can change this right here. Da, 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 da. Overall, super self-explanatory and super nice for actually building up a converting product page. And then you would just have to continue this. You would have to actually customize this with your different kind of information for your product. But as for me, I'm not going to bother doing this right now. I'm rather going to show you how to further customize this. So actually you can just 
um, add all sorts of other elements onto your page. For example, you can choose from these templates. You can then add stuff right here. Or if you actually, so all of these templates are basically super good and you are going to have product breakdown templates right here, which are super powerful to actually display out of the unique selling points. You're going to have the, this testimonial templates right here. And if you want to actually have a more visual approach to these testimonials, you can compare these and so on. So overall, you are going to have endless opportunities with this and you can really play around with this however you want. So, however, I will actually also show you how to add custom things onto your page. So to do that, you will have to, first of all, add a row layout onto this. I'm just going to, um, I guess, add it right here, okay? And then we will have to drop an element in right, uh, right here. So one element that I actually really like is this um, image comparison element. So basically with this, as the preview already suggests, you can put in two images and you can then let the customer interactively compare these uh, images by using the slider. So this actually works great for makeup products. In this case, I could then actually um, maybe put in an ordinary image frame on the left and then on the right, my, my image frame right here so that then this can actually be shown. We can also change the layout. Uh, overall, super good stuff. And this is definitely an element which I wanted to mention because I just think it is super powerful. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.